This is Dave Palumbo with RxMuscle.com. I'm here backstage at the 2009 Europa Super Show. I'm here with our men's 202 third place finisher and Olympia qualifier. Back from the dead, Chris Dim. <laughs> feel great. I am, yeah. It's been uh, two and a half years, but I feel really good. You're like a cat. <laughs> you, you, you can't get you down. Hey, you know what? Sometime uh, you have to go down and realize and come back and do it again, but do it right. They always say you got to fall before you rise up even higher. Yeah, yeah. I feel great. I mean, uh, this time around, um, I'm doing it. Everything's super, super healthy. And um, I'm really taking my time with this, so it's working out a lot better let's, for me. Let's tell the fans out there, in case anyone doesn't know, let's catch them up. Give us a little brief overview of what happened to you and uh, how long it took you to come back from that. June uh, 2007, I had an aorta dissection. Uh, that's what John Ritter had, who normally 95% of the people won't live through it. Uh, they did a five, five and a half hour open heart surgery. And then uh, miraculously, they gave me 10% chance to live, and I fought that 10% chance, and they told me I'll never be able to work out again. Now, before we go to that, why do the, most people die from this, this uh, condition? Because it's the main artery that goes to connect it to your heart. So when that busts, that's the connecting tissue, so uh, therefore uh, normally people don't live through it. How much blood did you lose? Uh, I don't know. All I know is they did five and a half hour surgery, and uh, uh, they took a vein from my legs and reattached it back to my heart. Right, now, why, why did they say you wouldn't be able to work out again? Well, because like any doctor, they're going to tell you you're not going to be able to train again because it's such a strain on your body. But since, you know, we do this and we've been doing it for so long, it becomes second nature and it's muscle memory. So once you get that back, like anything else, everything strengthened up. How long did it take you to get back to full strength? Uh, it took me nine months. Three months into it, I started training like, like, uh, like a baby, taking baby steps. And then uh, from there, six months into it, muscle memory started coming back. Nine months, I was back to normal. Did you ever think you'd be back on the stage again? I knew in my heart I was, but I had to fight that uh, mentally. So since I fought it mentally, everything else just came, came together. How good did it feel when you were up there and you heard third place and you're going to the Olympia? It feels good. And uh, the reason why, because it's my first show back, I'm a little rusty. But I got six weeks for the Olympia, and I feel like I can really bring and do some damage there. You didn't look rusty up there at all to me. You had deeply striated glutes. I think you're even better tonight than you were this afternoon. And I, and I thought maybe the, the places could have been higher. Um, what are you going to do different from that of the Olympia? You know what? I got, I got six weeks to eat up, but I'm going to do it really slow, try to put on maybe another five pounds, and then come in basically harder than I am tonight. Well, you certainly do have nine lives, my friend. Congratulations. I'm really proud of you. It takes a lot of uh, guts to come back from what you did and, and be better than you did before, and I'm sure you're going to do great at the Olympia. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank Anyone you'd like to thank out there? Yeah, I'd like to thank my, uh, my workout partner. Um, you know, he's the one who, who came to support me, Ro uh, Mary Roberts, uh, my girlfriend Elise, and um, that's it. <laughs> All right, man. Chris Dim going to the Olympia. For now, I'm Dave Palumbo, rxmuscle.com.